Hello all, welcome to part 56 of TestNG training series. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the interview questions on TestNG. That is, what is the default thread count when parallel attribute is only mentioned without providing or mentioning the thread count attribute in TestNG XML file? You see, there is a TestNG XML file where parallel is equal to some methods or classes or test is specified, but thread count attribute is not specified. In that case, what will be the default count of this thread count that I'm going to explain and practically show you in this session. So what is the default thread count when parallel attribute is only mentioned in test XML file without mentioning the thread count, okay? So it may be an interview question, guys, and the answer for that question is five, okay? The answer for this question is five, guys, okay? If you don't even specify thread count, by only specifying parallel attribute, thread count, even though it's not specified, it is by default five in number, okay? Even though the thread count attribute is not specified in testing XML file, it is mentioned as five when parallel attribute is mentioned, okay? Only when parallel attribute is mentioned and thread count is not mentioned, the count is five, guys. Let me practically show you here at a suit level. You see here we have a suit, here we have a test and inside the test we have multiple classes. Here from this class we have around uh, four tests, four test methods are there. Here login five test methods, so total nine, nine plus here three, 12, 12 plus three, 15. Total 15 test methods are there inside this test, okay? Now I'm going to provide only one attribute that is parallel is equal to methods attribute, but I'm not specifying thread count is equal to something. If I don't specify ultimately or automatically or by default, it will become five guys, okay? Whether you provide this as thread count is equal to five, or if you don't even provide also, that is five only guys, okay? I'm not specifying thread count. You will see that when I run this test in the XML file, you will see that five threads will be created. Even though thread count is not specified, only parallel is equal to methods. Parallel execution is enabled for at method level. 15 test methods are there. These 15 test methods from these classes of this test will be running on these five threads. You will see the thread numbers. Five thread numbers will be created in the output. Right click run as test and suit. You will see that 15 tests will be running on five, th uh, five threads. You see, 23 is one thread, 24 is another thread, 25, 26, 27. Total how many? Starting from 23. 23 is one, 24 is two, 25 is three, 26 is four, 27 is five. Okay, again 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, up to 27 only. Okay, from 23 to 27. Total five threads got created automatically. By default, test ng maintains five threads. Okay, even though you don't provide thread hyphen count attribute in test ng XML file, it will create five threads and all the test methods. Here, parallel execution is at the method level. At the method level, 15 test methods will be running on these five threads, five slots of threads. Okay, you see from login. One method is running on one thread and you, you see it, it will be changing guys okay on 23 second second uh, test method from login is running on 23 so five tests uh, five threads are there and 15 tests are there okay 15 test methods are there they are running on five threads okay so the answer for this question as you already got is five guys okay so even though you don't mention thread count attribute in test change xml file if you only specify or mention parallel attribute is equal to some methods or classes five Thread count will be maintained by default by test ng. So hope guys, uh, you understood this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to uh, cover another topic on test ng. I'm going to explain another topic on test ng. Till then, see you. Bye bye.